This week's blog is presented in the style of Charlie Brooker, because I like his shows. Leap years, the anomalous mole on the backside of astrology. Early man gave little thought to the orbit of his home world, but when it became necessary for him to plot a calendar, presumably so he didn't miss the season finale of 24, he found that there were some imbalances in his equations. Proof that God didn't set the planets in motion, or if he did, he certainly had a sense of humour. You see, the Earth doesn't take precisely 365 days to orbit the Sun. It seems as afraid of integers as Gary Glitter is of a visit from social services. The Romans reckoned it took 365.25 days, which incidentally is how long until my next parole. The Julian calendar, introduced in AD 45, added an extra day to February every four years. And so for another 1500 years, life continued blissfully unaware of how much of a cosmic pain in the ass the Earth's orbit actually is. It was the Catholics who first spotted a mistake in the system when they realised some of them were celebrating Easter on different days, the inaccurate it was then determined that six hours was just not accurate enough, and that the Earth, much like Usain Bolt, is actually 11 minutes faster to cross the finish line. Thus, in 1582, Pope Gregory XIII, in a by no means egotistical display of power, introduced a new corrected calendar, the Gregorian calendar, which is what we use to this day. I used to feel empathetic towards February, probably because, like me, it's similar to those around it, but just a bit shorter and it's wanted for rape, and then I started realising that this extra day couldn't have come at a worse time. June and July are warm, sunny months, but instead we choose to add the extra day onto February, just to drag out winter one day more and to prolong the misery of those affected by seasonal affective disorder. What are we trying to encourage? A mass suicide? One of the reasons I hate February so much is because it's six months away from my birthday in August. So every year I'm continually torn between whether I should feel excited that I'm that much older and that much closer to my next influx of cash, or distraught that I'm that much older and that much closer to the grave. And increasingly it's the latter. I don't know, maybe I just hate February because of the bad weather and the university deadlines and all those bloody kissing couples. Yes, February is the lair of the much-abhorred Valentine's Day, when soppy couples endeavour quite successfully to rub it in about how much happier they are than you, like they're participating in some mass culturally acceptable circle jerk. All the hearts and flowers and romantic meals and kissing and wooing and teddy bears. F teddy bears. You know what I'm doing on my Valentine's Day? I'm spending it cleaning lenses. Lenses don't let you down, unless you find out they're not collimated and you end up shooting a day's worth of blurry footage. 2012 is a leap year, in case you hadn't already noticed, so this year we can expect the misery that is February to be amped up to 11. Or should that be 29? Regardless, February remains the unwanted afterbirth of all the months, desperately trying to fit into the calendar like Joseph Fritzl at an interior design expo. And thanks to the Earth being a pernickety p February is shorter and more loathsome than Justin Bieber. Hmm? Yeah? What do you mean he's not a February baby? March 1st? <laughs> he's still a c-